Hello everybody of YouTube. Today, I'm finally going to be able to be releasing part 2 of my video on how a uh, fire alarm pull station works. So in the previous segment, or part 1, I explained what happens when you pull down the lever, how it actually activates the fire alarm switch that's located inside the pull station right there. Well, today I'm going to kind of be explaining that again, and then I'm going to be explaining like what happens after that, like how you reset the pull station. So just a quick recap here, basically what I was saying is, when you pull it down, it activates the switch. The switch is normally going to be pushed in. So normal when it's pushed in, it's not going to activate. When the switch gets released, it sets off the fire alarm because it activates. Because it's normally closed. So, like I was saying with this part right here, well, you can see this part would normally hold the uh, switch in place. But then when you pull it, it goes like this, where the switch is allowed to be able to go open. And therefore, it activates the fire alarm. So that's basically how it works. Uh, I'm going to be telling you now how it would be reset. I have a pull station here that's locked that I can't reset until I get a key for it. There's no way for me to open it. Because there's this lock here, and it's preventing me from opening the pull station. But this one, since it's not locked, I can show you what happens. When you stick your simplex key inside the lock and you turn it, basically all it does is it opens this part, and the handle for the pull lever will go back up like this, because there's a spring right here that, that keeps it spring-loaded. So that's how that works. And then it releases the button, and then when you close the station again, the button goes back to being pushed down, therefore it won't activate, unless it's pulled again. Now, if you've ever watched, like, a fire drill video on YouTube before, and you've seen the fire alarm technician not pull the pull station, but instead of pulling it, he sticks the key in the lock and opens it for a few seconds and closes it, well, that's called the drill way of activating the pull station. Because what happens is, basically, when you release this, let's say this was hooked up right now, and I did this. Like, here, I'll show you my real pull station right here I have hooked up. Instead of pulling it, let's say I just went like this. The pull station would activate. The reason for that is because as soon as you release this cover, as you can see, the switch is sticking out instead of being pushed in. Therefore, it would activate the fire alarm. So that's how it works. And then obviously, you would just stick your key in there, and then you would, you would reset the pull station. So you would stick your key, you would turn it, open the station, handle pops back up, then you close it and lock it. So really, that's all I have to say about the uh, simplex pull stations. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching part two of how a fire alarm pull station works. And uh, make sure you uh, keep a lookout for my next video, which is going to be pretty exciting, because I have this uh, thing underneath this bag, which I will be revealing in the next video. So, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.